I'm Carl Geigley, and I've been with May Trucking since August of 93, 29 years ago. Went through trucking school. It was, I think it was Eugene Truck School, and I did a at-home course. The school was pushing me towards swift trucking, if that's okay to mention. Yeah, I went to the orientation. It was, we'll have a truck in three or four weeks. Well, I wasn't a deadbeat. I had a job before I started this. I needed a job like tomorrow. But I remember driving down, there used to be a bingo across the street. And I, I used the phones to call May Trucking. And I didn't even realize I was across the street from them. And they said, sure, come on in. So I ended up driving home anyway. And then like two days, because I think it was Friday, came in Monday morning, put me through orientation. And I think within, I forgot how many days, but not much, I was in a truck making money. I think it's called the Bosco Bunk Heater. Oh, that was just so sweet. You'd get up and it would be freezing like you'd be sleeping outside. The heater was so nice getting up to a nice warm truck. Actually, we had 48 inch sleepers, two seats, but you could stand up and a bed back there. None of the amenities they had now, but I went from a cab over to that and that was my first drastic move. And I really liked that truck. Back in the day when I started, we'd have to, they'd have these little like rooms with phones all the way around it and you'd, there'd be a line there and your dispatcher didn't have computers so she's, she or he was calling so you'd be on the phone sometimes an hour. I have the time and it's a sunny day I try to get out, do anywhere from 30 to 40 minutes. I just, some of the areas I've been to, they, you can use any excuse not to get out and walk. It's a bad neighborhood. Well, then you know, just walk circles around the truck stop. You know what I'm saying? Work. There's people around and you're safe. We went to Disneyland before. That was fun. Picked her up and then drove down. Made sure I stopped at truck stops with movie theaters. Bobtail over to Disneyland. And we parked the truck in Disneyland. Uh, this sounds kind of cheap, I guess. But after Disneyland, we just slept in the truck right down there. Did Disneyland another day. I do. I've already, I've got a camper pickup. I've got a couple of Harleys and money in the 401k. That's another thing I've liked about this company. I mean, you've got to, it's your own money, but it, it adds up. I'm going to leave on good standings. I might, when I want to go like to Europe or something, I might come back and drive for a few months. Maybe I'll kept, collect my four million. <laughs> Mainly it's just steady work, good steady work. And if you work hard, even when the times are lean, my dispatcher always um, try to keep me moving because they realize I want to work. Does that make sense? <laughs>